everyone. Today is an exciting day for me. I get to go to Dr. Morse's Herbal Health Club in Port Charlotte and a good friend of mine, Stacy, she works there. She's a herbal detox specialist. So on this journey we go and let's see what the iridology will tell us. So they're going to take a better picture of my eye actually. Even though I'm a photographer, I found it dang near impossible to take a picture of my iris in focus, clear, sharp, with good lighting. And you have to get the lighting to be to where like you don't shine a light or a film or a haze over your iris so they can see all the clarity and everything. So I attempted to take a picture of my own eyes, of course, and I sent her the best I could do. And from a first glance, she says, looks like you're a true blue. I have brown eyes, yo. I, I don't know. Is that for real? Maybe I'm a true blue, blue color eye with all this lymphatic? I mean, I don't doubt it. Honestly, don't doubt it. My mom is actually blue eyes and my dad is brown. There's a lot of cases where people go raw vegan or do a, you know, cleanse or just become raw vegan for years and years and years. I mean, this takes years, I think. Who knows? Um, they become a different eye color. Like their brown eyes lighten up to a green or a blue or something that was totally thought impossible. So the whole point is to just go and find out what this eye chart says, take a better picture, and pick up some more herbs. And my friend Stacy mentioned that Mr. Morris, Dr. Robert Morris, is going to be there. So maybe I'll get to say hello and meet him. And I just, I like at least want a picture. <laughs> he's, he's definitely a big, big hero, big idol of mine. So that would be awesome. Um, so I'm on my way and I'll catch up with you guys when I get there. Alrighty, I am here. And it looks like one big old building. <laughs> This is awesome. It's beautiful. I am here. Oh my god, this is exciting. I don't know where to park, but it looks like this whole building is theirs. I'm going to park in front of health. <laughs> yes. I'm excited, you guys. Awesome. Beautiful place. Great books. There's a picture of Dr. Morse. <laughs> With all his beautiful certificates. Amazing. Awesome man. Nice ladies are going to point this camera at my eye. And clearly, I need all this to take a good picture of my eye, because I can't. So, <laughs> we'll see what it happens. Oh look, Shania Twain. That's amazing. And a bunch of famous people. He's amazing. Who is that? Is that Andrew Wilde? No, that looks like him though. Stacy was telling me that this is a Dr. Jensen, who created Iridology. So he was directly working with him, which is really freaking awesome. And a bunch... Oh, that looks like... Um, the guy who wrote the, the book about Agent Orange. I actually know his son. <laughs> um, I'll insert the name. I can't think of it right now. But yeah, really cool. As soon as I, I got my eye picture taken, the time is 11.11. So that was kind of cool. I have a true brown color, but we're going to get into detail. And this is an iridology chart. So we're going to match it up. My good friend Stacy here in her gorgeous office. We're going to learn some stuff and I'll follow up with you guys and tell you what happened. So this is normal blue eye and a normal brown eye. This is acute lymphatic stagnation blue eye, brown eye. This is subacute blue eye, brown eye. So you, look, you can have this color eye and you could actually be a blue, but stagnation, you see it? This is another true blue eye. And this is where I'm at, a little bit between these two, I suppose. Maybe I need to be here. <laughs> I want to be here. Maybe here is nice, too. Not just because it looks pretty, but because you're healthy. So if you guys want to take a screenshot of that, go, oh, wait. 
yeah, take a screenshot if you're interested in that one right there. Okay, like this. So if you look up an iridology eye chart, make sure it's developed by Dr. Bernard Jensen. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the right one. This is the person who developed iridology or studied or folk or figured out or he, he I guess created. figured out. He created it. So look, it's 1981. It's still pretty new, but pretty extraordinary. Pretty cool. So if you look inside my iris, you can see the lady who was taking my picture. You can see her eyes reflecting on the back of my retina, it looks like. <laughs> She's looking through the little holes of your of her camera. Hilarious. But yeah, so far so good. Stacy went to check on something and boy did I get an awesome earful. Everything looks good, you guys, like nothing to worry about, just a little stagnant lymph like most people do have, so these herbs in this raw diet will really, you know, kick things up a notch, really help clear everything out. Um, it's interesting, she made like little points for the left eye and the right eye. Um, it's interesting how accurate it was, like it even knew, like the left eye was showing me that I have pain in the shoulder like stagnation of acids and lymph and I have a really bad shoulder like right back there it's like always bothering me so it's interesting how particularly precise some of these points were um, but overall like a little bit of everything <laughs> um, I'll go into a little more detail soon but uh, I'm excited to see how I feel so we're conversating and I had to stop and make a point because she was actually reading the eye chart before reading my forms that I filled out about, you know, what's applicable, not applicable to my um, history. So that's really cool to hear that, you know, all this stuff that she was reading off to me that it was pretty still, pretty accurate. So that's cool. For any skeptics out there, I saw it firsthand. Well... So I'm back in my car and I just love their window decals. You guys have to come to this place if you are in Port Charlotte and get an iridology consultation. You may or may not be surprised to what you hear. So there was nothing that really, really was like a problem, which was good to hear. There's a few genetic weaknesses. There's a few places that just are collecting a little bit more acid uh, due to the cooked diet and you know the long-term eating cooked foods and just you know stress and toxic stuff it just adds up and everyone has some level of lymph or toxicity in their body that they need to periodically clean or just you know adopt a detoxing lifestyle so meaning that you eat raw foods um, you clean for real that's that's real clean eating sometimes I see like um, an Instagram post and it says clean eating and it's like fish and some other bullshit and I'm like that's laughable because it's not you know these fried greasy things especially um, cooked things starchy things even beans they are creating acidosis in the body so you know I had all these questions that almost sounds to me now that I look back at it it's just like we want to complicate it in our minds and you know we're like you know it's got to be more than that and it's not it's simply diet it's how you eat how you take care of what you put in you know and it's very very important to eat plant-based raw fruit mostly fruit Something that I asked her was about, um, you know, what I can and can't eat and um, to avoid like overly spicy food because that also creates more mucus, which surprised me. I thought that was like really good for you or some, you know, good for circulation, but um, I guess it creates more mucus during a detox. You shouldn't eat spicy food and 
during um, one of these herbal detoxes, you should also minimize your exercise so you're not um, speeding up the detox too much, which could make you feel worse. So uh, another fun tip, which I never would have imagined, um, you know, things that grow close to the ground are grounding foods uh, and things that are you know, speeding up detox are things that are further from the ground, closer to the sun, meaning the fruits on the trees. So this is where you want to be. You want to eat fruits on trees. But if you feel like the detox is going too fast or you feel unwell or something, a green juice is very grounding. So I thought that was really interesting. Herbs are fine. You know, raw herbs like cilantro, parsley. These things are fine, like salads. But mainly if you can just stick to fruits, berries, and melons in general, um, you will get some great results and clear up a lot of lymph a lot of stagnation that's just overall what I want you guys like I want to rejuvenate I want to feel and look younger and I want to make sure that I am healthy first and foremost um, but you know looking and feeling good is a side effect of that so you want to look into taking care of like what basically most people have issues with is their kidneys because we just eat way too much protein also genetic weaknesses from our parents eating this way and, and their parents eating this way and so on over many generations these cause creative uh, create genetic weaknesses so we can change the way that we our dna expresses themselves by the foods we eat so it's really really crucial to understand this that you can repair your dna you can change the way your genes express themselves by the way you eat and when I was filling out the questionnaire I was noticing you know the, the way I was answering the question a lot of the options were like did you have this now is it current or is it in the past and a lot of the questions I was able to say yeah I had that but in the past so it's already showing me the journey that I've come how far I've come that just being vegan alone you know, I used to have this or I used to have that. I'm like, wow, I just didn't look at it that way. It was just interesting to kind of put things into perspective by getting this iridology chart and reading and um, consultation. It was really good. She had a lot of great answers for my questions and there were more than often very simple. It comes back to the lymph and stagnation. It's pretty on point. I'm thoroughly impressed. Can you expect any less? I can't expect any less from Dr. Morse than amazing. Another interesting thing that you could do at home to see if your kidneys are filtering, to see if you're getting rid of the lymphatic crap in your body is to pee in a jar and leave it overnight to settle. If you see a lot of like milky stuff at the bottom, like it looks like sediment, you know, things, that's good. You want to have things in your ear and you want to see that because that means your kidneys are filtering if your pee is like clear and there's absolutely nothing in there that's a good sign that you're not filtering so an easy way to do this filter test is to fast do a dry fast so don't eat from 8 p.m. the day before you know eat with the sunrise sunset that way you're just eating during the daytime in general you don't eat after 8 p.m. and then you try to you know 12 hours no food kind of like before you go get blood um, basically you pee in a jar after that and you just let it settle maybe for a day or however long it takes and you could you could see you could really see and I did this recently and I was pretty shocked at how gross it is first of all and um, how much um, milky stuff was at the bottom. So that's a good sign though. That means they're filtering. Back, I don't know how long ago, maybe a few years ago when I first heard of this, I did it too. So it's kind of interesting to see like a before and after because before when I did it, there wasn't as much milky stuff at the bottom of the jar. And I know this sounds like taboo and gross to some of you, but grow up and do it because you'll be, you'll be surprised to what you learn about your body's chemistry 
and maybe it'll save your life. Maybe you'll realize, oh crap, my kidneys aren't working great. Another disclaimer on that is that kidneys filter, filter, for filter, and then they dump. So it might not look, you know, as you want it to look every time. So you want to do it a few times a week for accurate results. So you guys, you know how you can clean out your car or take out the trash or clean the bathroom. We kind of have to do the same thing with your body. And it's really, really good if you can, which you can, everybody can. <laughs> Some of the big takeaways I have from this are, you know, staying hydrated is key so that you can have your fluids be nice and fluid inside, your lymphatic system is moving nicely, and your cells are hydrated to the point where they're able to carry toxins out into the lymph. And cleansing out your lymphatic system is important to, to maintain proper immune system and health. If your lymphatic is blocked up, it's clogged, full of mucus, full of crap and toxins, this is what causes all kinds of cancers, diseases, cysts, um, you know, things like swelling. Um, let's say you have ed edema, edema around your ankles or something. You have acidosis. So this acidosis is a result of too much sewage in your body. You're backed up. You know, your colon could be backed up or your your something's just not functioning at its full capacity. So it backs up, it starts to collect in your lymph, it doesn't empty. So your body needs to protect itself and um, you know, wants to dissolve what is the nature's ultimate solvent is water. So it sends a lot of water to that area causing edema to corrode or erode or uh, dissolve is a better word try to dissolve the acidosis so if you're really stiff you know it's just acids and pain a lot of times is also just a bunch of acids your body makes mucus to protect itself from these acids and over time these harden and become plaque mucoidal plaque and it's just it's just not a pretty picture so um, over time you know, these are the things that are the root of all diseases. You could look like a completely healthy person, very, very healthy person, and you could have a backed up lymph system. It's just, it's just the way that our lifestyle is. And if you're not a raw, 100% raw fruitarian, then you're probably, you know, it's, it's something you should consider is to try to change your lifestyle to support this and it's a really really simple solution you guys you know you could do a juice fast to get there faster to get rid of the addiction to cooked foods john rose is really really motivational for this um and then you know what you eat after that your new lifestyle is your detox lifestyle which is raw fruits and veggies 80 percent fruit 20 percent veggies all raw which is all sounds great and handy dandy you know talking about it are you gonna do it is it are you going to take your health into your own hands it's always a matter of you you have to own up to the fact that everything that's happening to your body is your fault it's not okay let me rephrase that it could be your mama your mama who fed you you know growing up also, and it's not her fault either because it's just misinformation over generations and generations also. Just being passed down. Just a little bit of uh, relearning, or a lot for some people. It's just um, a hard truth, a hard pill to swallow for many. That diet is the key to your health and happiness. You can't just eat whatever you want and expect to be healthy and eat animals and dead flesh. Death. You don't want to eat death and expect to feel alive. The reason you feel good after eating those poor innocent creatures is because of the parasites that live inside of you. Literal worms. Parasites, microscopic, big and small, that live inside your gut, that are addicted to this. That's, you're supporting the, that environment, this putrefaction, this diseased 
animals usually it's they're all diseased like have you seen the condition and then we eat those diseased putrefying dead decaying animals which are full of all these chemicals just to keep it from going brown you know they they <laughs> You think that's fresh meat you're getting because it's red? No, bro. Those are full of carbon monoxide or whatever it was. I don't remember, but it's just, you think it's fresh, but it's not. It's colored. It's bleached. It's whatever to make it appealing for you. There's a lot of things out there that I have learned that I just, I'm so glad I know. And, you know, sometimes you think, is it better to be ignorant and be in bliss? No. I'd rather know the truth and make appropriate choices that'll better my health and my future and, you know, potential future offspring, you know, so that I don't have to bear or give them the burden of bad genes and things like that. I just, I'm ranting. I'm ranting because there's just so much to say. This, I definitely cannot fit this all into one video. So, you know, I'm not a health nutritionist or specialist or detox specialist this is literally just me sharing my journey and you know if you guys want to learn more I'm just gonna point the direction to a few awesome YouTube channels including Dr. Morse I'll link everything below and you can watch and listen to what I've watched and listened to and these these channels are really pure truthful and um, I believe correct I believe they've come to a correct understanding of the human anatomy, um, chemistry, and so on and so forth. Now, he did go to lunch while we were in the consultation, so I didn't get a chance to meet him, but um, he was there. He was making a YouTube video while I was there, which is great. So I'd like to just kind of sign off by saying that. Go check out his videos, see for yourself what this man has to say, and I promise you it will resonate with you. I'm signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video um, and I'll continue this vlog with some updates about my detox and how it's going. So I hope you guys stay strong and healthy and um, explore your health a little deeper and eat some more fruit.